Hello, cooking enthusiasts. This week's video is going to be a little bit quick, but first, some housekeeping. If you didn't see last week's dry aging update, I highly recommend you go check it out. But on multiple occasions, I said I had 43 day dry aged mutton. But I actually misspoke once or twice. It was actually aged for 53 days. But this video is all about actually cooking the mutton. For some basics, sheep is the animal. Most sheep gets slaughtered fairly young at around a few months old and that meat is lamb. If it gets much older than that, it's usually considered mutton, although some places have certain definitions for how old the animal needs to be. I don't know the exact number, but I believe the meat we were working with was from an animal that was a little over one year old. Obviously, I don't expect a lot of people to dry age it like I did, but if you do get your hands on some meat like this, I really enjoyed the flavor. The downside, of course, is that it is very, very tough, which is why I think it's perfect for sous vide. I'm sure this is done in some restaurants, especially in the UK or Australia, where mutton is way more common. But after some basic googling, I couldn't find a sous vide mutton recipe. So I basically had to take a wild guess for the cooking time, and I gotta say, I kind of nailed it. The pieces of meat I tested out were basically some boneless pieces off of the rib section, so essentially boneless mutton chops. I went with 57 Celsius for 16 hours, and in my opinion, it was pretty much perfect. It maybe could have gone an additional two hours or so. In general, though, I would say 57 is a really good temperature for the mutton chops, and 16 to 20 hours is probably a good range of times. Now, again, there's going to be a lot of variability if your animal is significantly over a year old. That might take up to 36 or even 48 hours. If you are getting mutton, always ask how old it is, because it could be as young as six months old, depending on your butcher. A normal lamb chop is only going to be sous vide for an hour or two, so depending on the exact age in that gray area, you would just need to make a judgment call. Enough about the cooking, let's talk about the flavor. And for this experiment, I went with just salt and pepper in the sous vide bag. If you wanted to reduce some of those oxidized gamey flavors, you could use the chef's step 
technique of using generous amounts of mustard powder, but for me, I didn't mind it. So, it was intensely gamey, but also intensely savory. And I think if you really like the taste of lamb, you would really like mutton. Some of that intensity obviously came from the dry aging, but I also think a good portion of it is just the age of the animal. For the first time in my dry aging experiments, I got some of the nuttiness they talk about with dry aged beef, but combined with the flavor of the mutton, it gave almost a pistachio note. I served this with a little extra salt on the side and some vinegar, but I think it could really hold up to a lot of other condiments and pairings. Because it does take longer to cook, it might even be relatively inexpensive where you are. So if you enjoy lamb, I highly recommend giving mutton in general a try, whether or not you can dry age it. And that is it for this video. If you have any other questions about this recipe or anything else related, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, thank you for watching.